Let's get to the final lap of our program today. The strange concept of Islamization has docked the 2023 elections due to the same faith ticket of the All Progressives Congress APC. But the party's presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, has dispelled such fear. Tinubu has given an undertaking that he will not pursue any religious or ethnic agenda if elected president of Nigeria in 2023. Speaking at an interactive session with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Tinubu said if it is impossible for him to Islamize his home, then it could not Islamize the whole country. Let's share the story by TVC News, Ola Wakon, with you. Have passed, but his decision to tow same faith ticket has remained a talking point. It was time to set the record straight. Presidential candidate of the APC, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, arrives in the Khan Secretariat to have an interactive meeting with the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria in Abuja. Review the problems that President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Daniel Oko, says the essence was for the APC presidential candidate to meet minds with the leadership of the Christian community in the country to review and prefer solutions to the various challenges confronting the country. The idea of this interaction is to come together to review our understanding of the Nigerian crisis of development and governance and collectively find a lasting solution. The leadership of Khan presented a list of demands and issues which they believe should be looked into by the APC presidential candidate if he becomes the president of Nigeria. Clear and unambiguous religious neutrality of the Nigerian state. Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu said if elected, his administration will not discriminate against anyone, either based on tribe, religion, or gender. We have urgent problems that lend themselves not to a Christian or a Muslim solution. We need the best solution. And we need a partnership that will offer the best solution. While reacting to controversy about the Muslim Muslim ticket, he said Senator Kashim Shetima, as his running mate, was the best available choice at his disposal without recourse to religious sentiments. He is a brilliant man with superior intellectual capacity. He is a studious and detail oriented, enjoying excellent organizational skills. Shetima fully understand the vital difference between governance and politics. He assured the leadership of Khan that his office will be opened to them as he promised to look into all the issues raised by the Christian body. All right, APC presidential candidate Ashwaj Bola Metsudu was speaking there. Now, he has severally maintained that his reason for picking Kashim Shetima is strategic and not religious. Yeah, uh, for Ashwaju, I mean, we he met with uh, the Guild of Editors about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I was present, and um, he said it right there, just as he retreated yesterday, that you are not a candidate for an election, I mean, for the purpose of entertaining everybody. If you want to be entertaining people, then you should be selling ice cream and just allow people to be laughing. But he is in the race to win. And the best combination that could allow him to win is Shetima. It's not about um, religion. It was said he was not even thinking about religion, just like he told uh, Khan. And uh, also, I, I think if you look at the dynamics, he's an APC candidate. He knows that it, it for, uh, because of uh, the way our mind is structured in Nigeria. If Ashwaju picks, quote and unquote, the current president as his uh, running mate. Uh, mate, he will still not do well in some parts of the country. That is a fact in the South South and the South East. Because we are asked if in that part of the country there is a Muslim Muslim candidate from certain parts of the country, they will do well. So the exigencies of time and the need for him to win the election narrowed his choice to Shetima. It's not about 
whether it's the uh, most competent or uh, the best for the shirt, but then the most appropriate to enable him win this election. And he also went further to say that those championing uh, Muslim, Muslim uh, ticket and bad matching it were those who actually came to him to scheme to be his vice presidential mm -hmm. candidate and they lost out. And I think he was referring to uh, the former SGF and of course the former uh, uh, um, that's, uh, uh, Lawan and uh, Dogara. So I think uh, the, the dust is settling down. And now it also is an opportunity for him to meet with the leadership of Khan. Especially, I mean, bearing in mind that there was a time that they said some bishops were actually rented. Mm -hmm. But I think we can see the faces of uh, uh, these leaders of a can now that they're actually genuine leaders of a can and not a, a rented uh, uh, crowd. All right, so it has been often said that national integration in a country like Nigeria includes the emphasizing religion in politics and governance. Can we totally say that this has eluded Nigeria? Well, um, first of all, let me. Um, talk about the meeting with yes. Khan. I think uh, that was an appropriate step. And I also think uh, what Khan did by specifically asking and saying that we do not want anybody to sideline Christians, you know, so to say, is also very important. Because of the role that religion has played in our politics over the years, which to me, back to your question, is not fostering national integration. For me, I think uh, politicians just use religion to their own advantage at the expense of, you know, Nigerians, <laughs> sentimental. Nigerians. Because when I look at uh, people talking about religion, whether Christianity or uh, Islam, look at the character of the individuals and look at the dictates or the requirements or the expectations of both religious uh, beliefs. How much of that do you actually see in the character of these individuals mm. that put up religion as the, the main or most important thing in our politics. But of course, we need to be balanced in whatever we do. And that is why I would not blame those who think that a Muslim Muslim ticket is not, uh, is not it. But of course, at the same time, for whoever wants to win, you also need to look beyond that. And I also want to add the fact that the poverty and the problems we are having in this country does not discriminate between religion. It's not as if, if you're a Muslim, you go to the market. If the economy is bad, it's not as if you will get something cheaper. And if you're a Christian, it's not as if you will get something cheaper. So I think what we should be emphasizing really is our, it's the, are things that bring us together. National integration, economic development, those are the things we should be emphasizing. But unfortunately, religion is playing a very big role. So, Majid, um, how and when did we get here? And are we ever going to get out of this um, religious, ethnic sensitivity when it comes to politics and governance? Uh, those who are pushing religious uh, stuff are those who don't mean well for this country. Um, most of the uh, the best nations in the world, the nations with the highest GDPs, they didn't achieve that based on religion. Is China a religious country? Is America a religious uh, country? Um, the nations that are doing well, they de-emphasize religion. But we have in Nigeria, we 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 scheme to build the biggest mosques and the biggest uh, churches at the expense of uh, warehouses. Most warehouses have been converted to worship centers. Uh, but then the people perpetrating, perpetrating the evil in Nigeria are stealing money. They are either a Christian or a Muslim. 
Oops, so what are we talking about? <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. the, I mean, that's why to Ashiwaju, I mean, he said it very pointed, uh, in a pointed blankly uh, manner. That's come. My wife is a dickiness with RCCG, with Redeem. If I cannot Islamize my home, how do I want to Islamize Nigeria? He said his choice of Shetima was to enable him win this election. And he has looked at the numbers, where the votes will come from. There are some people with, a, I mean, it has narrowed down the choice for him being a Southern Muslim. The option is like that of um, uh, MK Abiola and King Gibe. That's the kind of scenario we found. You know, although the religious intolerance is so, um, it, it's much more than what we had during Hope uh, 93. But then, if he needs to win this election, that's the best choice for him. And he's made it clear. And I'm happy that Khan is seeing reason, and they are telling him he must ensure religious neutrality if Nigerians decide to elect him uh, president. And I love something that Atiku also said when he met with the Guild of Legislators yesterday. He specifically mentioned the lopsidedness in appointments going to the northern part of the country. He said so, and that he was going to correct that if he is elected president. Those are the kind of things we want to hear, especially coming from somebody who is of, of northern ex, uh, extraction and seeing that there is a lopsidedness in appointments in a particular, in his own part of the country. All right, thank you very much, Majid. I'll have to see your final take on this. Yeah, I agree with uh, everything that he said, and uh, also the fact that. Um, Look at uh, Ashiwaju, for example. I think the most practical thing, the most practical example that he could give is that of his family, really. Because, I mean, if he's been married to a, a Christian and they've been known for years and he could allow her to be a dickiness, then it means that his level of tolerance is probably above... Uh, Average. Average. Average yeah. And the fact that if you look at when he was governor also, he was the one that uh, introduced this uh, annual Thanksgiving yeah. uh, in Lagos State right. uh, Government House and all of those things. That is why what you do uh, before we count in future. All right. Thank you very much, Alamsi, yeah. for your contribution at the program thank today. You. Thank you very much, Mojit Jami, for coming on the show today. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching. That's all on Journalist Tangal today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11. Join us on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. for Journalist Tangal on Sunday. We are on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Ola Jumoke Olatunji. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.